Dale, dale para allá, nano. Entrando a tu cuarto, Ajá. Eh, hacerte cosas que no han inventado. Tú estás loco, eh, muchacho. Eso es un eso fucking swing. Eso. Yo, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up for yeah. Afro. We got Afro Dominicano in the fucking building. Welcome This to the vibe. Welcome oh, to the vibe. Oh, he's snapping his way. That vibe, that vibe different. That Wait, what is this? Ah, me me gustó eso. What is this, though? That's, you never been to a, no, you never. Like a never seen, like, when you're in a poetry spam? Like poetry slam and shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> or, or if you ever went to like an AA meeting, the closest, the closest thing, <laughs> AM, <laughs> so, no, the closest thing to a, 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 a poetry slam is like a cuarteto in a cacique con King de la Rosa. Right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> con los cubetazos yeah, ahí, yeah. Yo, welcome to the vibe, Nano. Yo, what's goody, brother? What's up, man? Excusame lo lindo que tengo los ojos rojos. No, es el swing, bro. Hey, hey, hey. I wonder why. Yo, if, for, for the people that they're gonna see this, my man came with the Miami shirt on. So much Straight time, baby. from South Beach with the glasses or Jamaica or Jamaica. Yo, the socks is fire too. Yeah. With the fire loads. Vino con swing. Vino con swing. Espérate, espérate, espérate. Y la carterita que tiene el loco. Turks and Caicos. Let me see. Hey. Esa es la cámara. Esa es la cámara. Purse first. Shut to the camera. Purse uh, first. Ay. Okay. Hey. Ay, que tengo la deuda. That's the Makuta, as ah, they call it. No, the no, other. Son, no son muchas porque chiquita la cartera. <laughs> <laughs> Afro Dominicano, man. Yo, no, it's good no, to have you here, bro. Guy, bro, welcome to uh, having us. Thanks welcome to Highlight us, Music bro. Group Studios. I wish we could have the whole band here. Maybe in the future we could have y'all perform on the HMG app. That would be Live fire. video, sure. you feel me? Let's you make know? it happen one of these days. Are you, are you from the Bronx? No, 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 <laughs> but <laughs> shout out to Chocha Beach. I mean, Orchard Beach. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, Chocha hey, Beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Ain't nobody. You gotta get that 5 a.m. if you want a spot, boy. Yeah, let's stop. Where exactly are you from, now? I'm from Brooklyn, actually. What part of Brooklyn? Uh, Crown Heights. Uh, that's where I pop smoke. Dike? No, Yo, Brooklyn no, people no, are no. aggressive. Pop smoke is from, flat, from Flatlands. Flatlands. Okay. okay. But I'm from well, like, yeah, like you know, Crown Heights, Flatbush area, and stuff like that. That's where I was born and raised. Um, most of the guys are also from Brooklyn, and then we have some. Um, guys from Queens as well. How many guys are in the band in total? At the moment, tomo siete ahora mismo. Siete. Y dime cuáles instrumentos tú tienes ahí para so, más o menos, you know, for who hasn't seen the band or haven't heard of it, you know, when well, they sure. hear that music. Right, sure. for the listeners that don't know what Afro Dominicano so is, what is your concept? We have accordiones, we have two guitars, lead guitar, Frankie Payne. Uh, we have a segunda rhythm guitar, who also does vocalist, Kelvin Ventura. Tito Bass on the bass, obviously. Uh, Tambora, Jose Baez. Ese asqueroso. 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 Well, nice, yeah. nice, 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 nice. <laughs> uh, so, so when, for the listeners that don't know what Afro Dominicano is, because for for instance, me when I first heard Afro Dominicano, I was thinking I was gonna listen to like some palo music, you know, like some. Because of the word Afro, like up tempo. Mm. Yes, yeah. like like something like that. I didn't. I never thought it would have been, you know, basically like typical infused with uh African beats. For sure. I mean, Afro Dominicano. So Afro Afro in the Afro Dominicano is just the is an aspect of like us being part of our and accepting our Afro centricism uh, mm -hmm. as far as like the diaspora. That's the Dominican Republic natural movement and us accepting that you know like we do have African descent. So that's why we chose the name. But um, it's a really a fusion and a constant band, and we just uh, we just take different rhythms from all the over the Caribbean islands and we mm. mix them together. And we fucking rock and roll as well. Absolutely. So yeah. That's what the that. I remember is. the first time that I caught wind of you guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. It might have been 2019 at Mentiana Studios. You guys did a live. And I was like, wait, they're doing what? They added what? To what? It was like love at first listen, honestly. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. So we, we like to call it the Sancocho Musical. The Absol Siete Carnes. Tu that's, ex yes. mm. that's exactly what it's it is. That's a great yeah. analogy. Yeah. Legit, that's how I, I I explain you guys to when I introduce you guys to other people. Is that I'm like, yo, this is the Sancocho of everything. Literally. Absolutely. I'm I'm uh, I'm actually like a really huge fan. I've actually, I've so reached out I. to you a, a dozen times. But it's like, 
what you guys are doing like it's so interesting man because the way that you guys are able to like do actually you know bring it to life bring the fusion to life because it's right. easy to yeah it's just natural like you could talk about it you could you could have it whatever but to actually make it work like i feel right. like personally on a personal level you guys make it work that Absolutely. way coming from you know a fellow musician and and also i wanted to ask you this like where did the idea kind of where was it born la inspiración sobre sobre esa idea like where did you where did you actually because i know i know you from a different yeah, genre i know you sure. from our roots basically which is Merengue típico. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I, I basically met you as a singer, de, derecho. And then, yep. I, I, from, what I, from what I know, I don't know if you started accordion before that. No, nah, I started accordion when I was actually 19 years old. Mm -hmm. But the actual fusion came up to uh, in 2018. And it was like, uh, it was a gift for my daughter. Okay. So, like, she could get to know her father. So, it's like, I was like, if my daughter listens to this album, like, what should she know about her dad? And it's like, yeah, we are Merengue típico. But we also are super New York. We also grew up here with different into this, listening to different music. Yeah. Hip hop is a big influence. Rock is a huge influence in us, and also like our roots of the folkloric music. So we doing palos, we doing bambas, we doing Afrobeat, which is everything that we listened to when we were growing up. So yeah, the idea started like escribiendo canciones. <clears throat> Most of our songs are original songs, and the arrangements are also done by the band itself. But um, it was a gift for my daughter, to be honest with you. That's, That's why the beautiful. first album is called Letter to Zoe, Letter because to Zoe. I wanted her to know me. Fire album. Like it. Oh, Super cool. Cool. Fire hey. album. Hey. And I love that because, unfortunately, the younger generation is missing out on everything we grew up with. Yeah, that's a fire. Señor, este tipo no es, este tipo es un poeta. No, es lo que es un genio. Ese tigre es un... Oye, you, lo que dijo ese tigre. You better know. Ese tigre dijo, what would I want my daughter to know about me? That's beautiful. <laughs> You can't get fucking. You can't. That's a vibe, bro. Apa, why you lying? No, no, no. But that's what I got. Oh shit! Yo estoy aquí adentro. Yo estoy aquí. Yo estoy en Grano Java aquí adentro. Y te me gustó. Me gustó esa. Me gustó. For my daughter, bro. You 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 get to pass on yeah, your legacy dope. to your daughter. So yeah. whoever you has to listen, you might, you might listen to that her. album. You might Letters influence to your daughter to make music after you. Yo, she loves music and she knows the songs word for word. Yeah. That's your next that's superstar beautiful. right there. That's She's dope, amazing. right there. She's amazing. So, would you would you consider yourself? Or your band a cover band or so i wouldn't consider the band a cover band per se but uh we do do some covers as okay. far as like uh the musician but we do uh the covers our way like we always spoke about it it's like the, the arrangements has to be something that's going to be unique to us but uh in our first album we had uh four cover songs out of 11 songs and then the rest were original written by me and arranged by me frankie and the other guys and then the second album, which is coming out uh, the end of December, is called Quisqueya Libre. Can't wait. And that shit is straight up only originals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How many I'm tracks? Sorry, yeah. I don't mean to laugh or nothing you say. It's just Mangu. <laughs> <laughs> He's my number one hater. I can't even breathe on Yo, I'm mic. just vibing with my boy Nano. <laughs> when <laughs> First time I meet my man. I'm but definitely my waiting for that my because right I here. loved the first album, which is great. So if you haven't listened to that, it's on Apple Music. How many albums you got? Uh, so, nada más tenemos dos álbumes. Eh, eh, no ha salido el segundo álbum. El primer álbum de Eso Zoe has been out since 2019. Yes. And then we drop in the second one probably at the end of this year. But we do have a single coming out, Mangos and Wine. And it's like, uh, it's a little bit of blues, it's a little bit of rock, it's a little bit of merengue. And it's super awesome. So, have you guys been approached by any major record uh, company and said, like, you know, they want to take the the group to a, to a next level? Like, so we have been approached, but we haven't <laughs> found the correct people to work with yet. Okay. And uh, the deals haven't been exactly what we Smart. wanted Talk to have. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. So no, this is, I've always learned about, you know, know stuff like that. Facts. It's Facts. never take the first deal that they mm -hmm. give you. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, 100%. So, yeah. <laughs> like if they're offering me this, that means they're going to offer me more. Right. And they have the pockets to do so. But we've been doing everything independently. And so far, it's been going pretty good for us. Um, nice. We so your fan base is amazing they're pretty, cool. gusta, gusta. they're pretty cool they're really amazing my, my advice as far as like the deals and all that stuff like coming from i'm in the industry where you know i've seen record deals go south i've seen them go north i've seen people get good deals bad deals the the number one thing that i get from like independent artists is they tell me i wish i would have done just a publishing deal yeah and not a record deal because with a record deal is almost like they're lending you money that you're gonna have to make back exactly in some way somehow as with a publishing deal 
they're doing the PR work for you. You know, they're putting it out there. They're distributing the music for you and just taking a small percentage. You should always get the bigger percentage. You know. Oye, papito. Estoy seco aquí. Estamos seco aquí. Hay algo. Ya papito, al paro. Papito me ofreció a mí que juca, bebida y una picadera. No ha llegado la juca ni la picadera. Yo, listen to your bag. Listen to your bag. También, oye, también que trata, que también que trata nano a papito en los ensayos de Afro. Es verdad. Y tú no lo ves ni una menta, loco. No, no. Oye, I got some slim fast. I'm saying I got you, you're my brother. Yo, listen, laundry bag, go sit down in the corner. Right? <laughs> laundry bag. Yeah. If I'm a laundry bag, my nigga, you a couch. <laughs> anyway, yo, now, nah, OG Side though, I've yo. been to their shows. All right, but hook me up before you I say you, anything. I, you, I know, right. that I got you. All right. Yo, the energy is amazing. Miss Cotty was there the last time I was there. I went dead tired and I enjoyed every minute of it. No se lambo mango. No, 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 no. Oh, Miss Cotty. Yo, I was, I, was gonna, I was gonna ask you about that, uh, Nano, about like your live performances and your practices and stuff like that. Like, do you guys sit there and arrange the shows how you want them to go, your set list, the vibe you want to set, like things like that? Uh, so we we definitely uh, do each performance with a purpose. Um, mm -hmm. Calvin Ventura, which is the uh, rhythm guitar, he's uh, he's also the musical director. So I gave him free uh, leeway to make the set list. Where is he? Where, where is this guy? Where is he at? Eh, en su casa, ahora mismo. Who's this yeah. then? Who, who's, who's the guy that, that came Who we got here next to me? Uh, Frankie Payne. He's always to my left. El Dolor. The best. Come hey, introduce yourself. Come best. introduce yourself. Hey, El Dolor. My son Lelo said, I always keep it hidden to the left of me. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Tell me Luis Valga. El Dolor. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Un saludo. Hey. Dime, dos. Dime, dos. What up, Frank? Yo, hold on. I got a question. Yo, I never knew you spoke Spanish, bro. Yo, thank I you. you. I speak I'll, three languages. What What's do you up? speak? What do you speak? I speak Dominican, Spanish, <laughs> and English. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. Wait, hold on, hold on. I also, I also uh, have a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's congratulate my boy. He just had a baby. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Oh, congratulations, man. Yes, yes, you. Welcome to fatherhood, man. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> did. Yo, I know you're standing up and shit, but just look at one of the cameras and say what up because we got to put you on film What's and up, shit. What's up, guys? I love you guys. <laughs> That's a fact, man. Speak about how, um, how that new feeling of uh, being a father is. Yo, it's the most humbling experience you'll ever experience in your life. Uh, you, like, I mean, that's what I've heard. I know what you mean. Toitos son hijo mío. Okay, so. Like, your life just changes. You just have a purpose now. <laughs> did you, yeah. did you, I mean, my purpose before was music. Yeah. But now it's my son, then music. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, how it's changed. Respect, wow. respect, respect. How did you, um, my bad flow, but how did you, um, actually come to, to meet, uh, Nano? So long story short, yeah, it was Tinder. Yeah, he was. He had a good. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I hey. like that. I like that. <laughs> and my, um, before you continue, to add on to that, we spoke about obviously you guys as you know as a group. Yeah. They mentioned Frankie. I'm like, who the fuck is Frankie? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck you mean? Now I see why. Yeah. Go ahead. So basically, <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was, guys. Guys. I was in this jazz band in college. Yo, hold on, let him talk, man. I was in this jazz band in college, <laughs> and it. that broke off, whatever. And then the <laughs> horn player recommended me to Nano, and then that's how I met. You know, he's like, "Yo, come through, come play," and I was like, "All right." I didn't know how I would fit, coming from you know jazz and like rock background. I was like typical like what and it's been beautiful ever since it's been crazy i've been like it's been a learning experience for me like oh, I, play guitar. Oh, yeah. I also produce and like mix for the band i have this Gracias. i also have this question for nano real quick because yeah. uh i always wondered this aparte del accordion what else do you do you play uh, what other instruments throw them headphones on frankie and Tell don't me. say nalgas <laughs> oh, damn, I wasn't gonna say that right now. I know that's, like, that's an accordion player joke, bro. So I I only play accordion. Really? I do I dabble in the in the guitar, but it's just vocals and accordion right now. <laughs> and Frank Frankie's downplaying the way the way that that I got Frankie to join the band. It was more like I told his boy who's a saxophone player. I'm like, yo, I need a guy that could play rock, that could play uh jazz, that can play bachata, that could play this, that, then the third. And he was like, yo, I might have the guy just for you. 
Boom. And that first rehearsal, I'm like, yo, bro, we just gave him the chords. Progression in the first song we actually worked on was Amor de Colegio, which Ooh. was the first Yo, song that's one of my favorite uh, joints. Oh my God. That's one of my favorite joints yeah, I got. Definitely, okay. mine too. Can you, can, can you give us a little snippet of, I've never heard the song. Let me hear it. I think it was the first one that I played. <laughs> Listen to this guy. Yo, man, why are you uh, you oh. want me to a cappella this song? Yeah, 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 man. Come on, show, show show the people from the vibe because this is all you like. The, our fan base, I think, is is that is that. Hold on, if I'm not mistaken, is that isn't that the song that says? Exactly. It gets way too sexual hey. afterwards. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, there goes right there. There goes right there. There it is. Dale pa allá. Things of iron. You gonna play the track, the whole thing? I got to do a cappella this right now, nah, bro. Nah, do, do, do a cappella, go ahead. Entrando tu cuarto. Hacerte cosa que no han inventado. Ay, yo. Porque te conocí de muy pequeño a ti. Y mientras que el tiempo pasaba, desde lejos te buscaba. Ay, yo. Es un amor de colegio. Un amorcito de lejos, yo. Next time, lo que quieras. Hey, 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 no bulto. Yo, yo, what's, the, what's, the name of, what's the name of the track? The, the, the best friend track. Uh, it's called Best Friend. Best friend. That's the name of it, right? Yeah. 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 Let me tell you something. Hold on, Do though. It. What's the name of the track? Hello. Best I, I, I walked them right into it. It's called a segue. Yeah. Aprendan. Lo quito viejo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways, uh, like I was saying, that shit hits home, bro, because uh, I, I know a lot of us have been, Well, let me ask this question real quick on the panel, real quick. Mm. Guys, mm. who has been friend zoned here? Raise your hand real quick. Never in the life. Friend, I got friend zoned You today. never got friend zoned before? I got never friend zoned right now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I have, I have. I have. Miss Carrie don't count, Listen, I, 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 got yeah, zoned, I got friend zoned <laughs> in the beginning of the show. <laughs> Papi, do you been friend zoned? <laughs> listen. <laughs> Papi, do you been friend zoned? So, yeah, yeah, I think everyone, every guy has been friend zone. And if you think that you haven't, then you have. Then you, you have. Know what I'm exactly. Saying? Yeah, you're I right. feel attacked, bro. <laughs> I feel attacked. You know why? You know why? Because I typically never really make the first move on girls. Like, I really never ask for, like, numbers. Wow, and, like, les muy solicitado. I never, you know, I don't do that. Like, you know, if <laughs> wow. I go, no, nah, I'm dead serious. Whatever happens, the, whatever happens, happens. Hey, that's, that's Flo, how I que vayan donde ti. Somos compadre ahí, Flo. <laughs> Oye, pero hasta la, hasta la mujer mía ahora, que tenemos cinco años juntos, when we first met, Linda. I didn't go in for the kiss. She, Como. bro, she got close like this, like this close to me. I was like, if I get this close, you still not going to give me a kiss? <laughs> yeah. At that point, I have to, you feel me? But, you know, the wow. friend zone and me, we don't know each other because I never, I don't know, I never made that move. You know what I'm saying? Like, Are I don't, you afraid I'm not of saying rejection? I'm, 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 I am, maybe, I'm afraid maybe. of rejection. I'm a bitch for, rego- for maybe. rejection. You, guys you know are. what? I, I hate being rejected on the you. dance floor. I mean, is that wrong with rejection? It, it's your loss if you reject me on the dance floor. Is that wrong with that? Ah, but you Flo. Okay, si bailo. Como un trompo. Pero ven acá, papito. Pero su look is rejected all the time. It's normal, bro, right? Right? He gets rejected from his shirt. Rejection is a part of growth. You gotta get rejected. Listen, 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 papito. That's why I'm like six, seven. You know how much times I got fucking rejected. <laughs> I'm six seven, bro. You know, seven, bro? yeah. If you win the NBA, you Not do the rejection. All. That was his first rejection, the NBA. If you if you want if you want papito, if you I want like if you want, we could do a dance off here, nigga. And I, I swear to God, que la mujer would oh. siempre ha, ha I'm like me. You, my nigga. You told me. I, I can't even grab, my arms, I can't even grab my arms around you. I can't even grab my arms around you. I'm trying to see this dance off. Our though. boy Nano <laughs> too. Though. To see this so y'all wanna see me in the dance, man? Solo. Tiene dos swings. Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready for that. Y'all not ready. He said a dance off. Nobody's ready for me in this room. Eso con una paella. Nobody's ready for me. Hold on, hold on. I got a, I got a question for. Dale, dale. That's Frankie, right? Yes. Yeah, Frankie. All right, yes, so, so how long you been playing the guitar for? I've been playing for 11 years. Did you go to school? You self-taught? I was self-taught, but then that. I went to college for music. What, what college? I have a degree in music. Beast. What college? I went to Queens College. Nice. Mm. Yes. Damn, was that like your goal always in life? Was like, I'm going to be some type of musician? Nah, I said, if I'm going to college, I'm going to study something I like. So You're going to be that. in debt. You might as well pay was, debt. Yeah, I was like, yeah, if I'm going to go, like, let me study something I like. Even though they didn't teach me what I wanted to know. But it was cool. I learned classical. I learned jazz. It was cute. You know, it was it was cool. <laughs> but a lot of the stuff I've learned, I've been self-taught. YouTube, YouTube made me. YouTube made. Yo, not for nothing, some of the best musicians are known, like, in my life, always have told me the we same thing. We got the tools, yeah, that's baby. The internet, the internet we made us. The, the internet made me, but I feel like the internet is also, like, destroying the youth. Why are you coming up now? Could you elaborate on that, though? I feel like it's, like, musicianship on its own. Like, it's just on a decline. A lot of people are just 
They want to be rappers. They don't want to learn to sit there and learn how to play an instrument. And appreciate you know, music. And appreciate it. So yeah. it's like, yep. I feel like technology has destroyed that a little bit. Oh, you, 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 feel, you feel like there's a lot of people just in it for the money. Nah, yeah, they just in it like, the they just want to get on the track and, you know, they don't understand. It takes, it takes a lot. You got to know music. I got to add to that because I make feel, music. it feels like nowadays, like, especially the younger generation, they feel like they're entitled to something. Like, they yeah, feel like I don't entitled. have to put in the Holy work. Shit. I should be rich already. Or I should. Yeah. I should be getting paid this much. I'm pretty. This. I should have money. Like, yeah, oh, like they right? feel very entitled. To piggyback and also to pick it up, no to substance. piggyback off of that, that's that's what social media has done because people yeah, see yeah. things and they think that that's like actually like they they set the bar there like whatever they see the other person doing they're like nah i gotta be doing that or else like they or else they feel like less you know what i mean you gotta put those ten thousand hours you're trying to be mm. something you gotta do it it's the grind bro it's the grind and i I see it i see it in you guys bro i see you guys always working like i'm i'm always watching man like i i give credit with due. i've said that like a thousand times here i know that's probably my cliche like go-to bar you know how every so rapper has like a yeah. one day, one day, when they freestyling, they have like no, a go to bar. Because nobody's there to give anybody bro. credit for shit. Nope. Yeah, man. But that's it's literally, true, man. <laughs> it's true, though. No, yo lo felicito ustedes. Like, Absolutely. Oh, man. Yeah, man. You guys are doing crazy man. shit. Like, I, I love I love the collab colors. Y'all, y'all put out into the y'all music. Y'all definitely Thank you for having me. 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 Thank you for as y'all know, like I, that's what I'm doing right now. But you guys are doing a whole nother. They're gonna be the ones like, to do it. I always a whole say other branch off, and I, I that I respect you, and I give y'all love. Not, not only speaking that, of man. that, speaking yeah. of that, um, since your main instrument is the accordion, the typical movement in New York is huge, especially oh, yeah. in Brooklyn. You guys know that. Have you guys ever tried to tap into the same businesses where they play at, or was was your audience always your target was always different? So the target was always different, but like we we like we have played before in the same like locations, like mm-hmm. like you're open to it. So it's not like you know we're not right. afraid to do so, but we also just want to we want to bring out like there's groups who already are, are getting the job done and, and doing a great job out it. You know what I'm saying? Next, so Grupo de Ahora, Mas Banda, all you guys, they they just doing it. Yeah. So we're just thinking like let's just expand the shit. So the, so like when we playing in these stages. These guys could also come with Absolutely. us, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, which so is what I love. Love. I'm sorry that I say fucking Which is why I am such a fan from first listen. If you guys have not been to an Afro-Dominicano party, the mixture of culture is on a next level. I need a week. I need a weekday that I could go because obviously you know I'm busy on the weekend. We're gonna make it happen, man. Even well, though, even if we had to throw a party with all these bands mm-hmm. and then we always did too. And I need some Hey, hey now down. we, hey, now we talking my language. You feel me? And I should <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Nice for the people. You feel me? <laughs> what? And I need a collab. Not it doesn't matter if this was next or just with me. I want to be on a track with y'all. I want, I want so that shit. I got the perfect song. I've been I talking to. I need Diablito, bro. You know. Yo, so you guys got any upcoming shows you want to talk about today? Um, so because we don't really don't promote shows on I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean this episode won't come out till next Monday, so So not for sure. So um so we have uh Tilila, we have Pop and Poor. Um we leave it in August to Florida, so we're doing um Orlando, we're doing Caoba. Do y'all doing... hear the names of the venues? Yeah. It's not Lugo Lounge. No, no, it's no. Not no. Martitas, it's not ha- Caoba. Okay. These Pain spots and poor. Is... This is different vibe. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can say the dates too. Feel free. Um, So, if you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Promotion for free here. Yeah. 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 So okay. Okay. Th- thank you, Chiquito. Surreal Films always here too. Hey, hey shout out to Surreal Films. Yo, yo, that's my Chiquito boy. Chiquito, baila. Espérate, espérate, no pago promoción. <laughs> yo se la pago, yo se la pago, no te preocupes. Oh, okay, Chiquito. Oh, my bad. Hey, Chiquito. Ay, ay, ay. So we got Pop and Porn the 25th, the 31st of July, Tilila. Then we go into Orlando, uh, Florida. So we doing Caoba, Tiesto Cafe in Miami. Oof. That's we, a dope spot. We doing um, oh. we doing the second bodega jams. If you hey, guys don't know what bodega jams, first of yo, all, I, yo, first I of love all, that idea. Go enlighten me, enlighten me, enlighten so, me. So, but, 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 so, nah, 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 yo, that's a vibe, bro. That's a vibe. So, that's okay, a bodega jams right is is my backyard. You know what so I'm saying? Fire. Of my okay. house. 
So, oh, that's your backyard? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I, I think it's his bodega. Yeah, yeah it's his bodega. So it's my, bo- it's yeah. my bodega. It's wait, the what the b- fuck am I missing here? What's going everything on? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're everything, apparently. You're missing everything. Wait, hold on. Bo- Let's let Nano explain. So, All right, bodega jam. So I've d- never been, never heard. During the pandemic, during the pandemic, we decided that we wanted to do some live shows for the public. Like, ya todo el mundo necesitaba música. So yes. we low-key cleaned out the backyard in, in my bodega. And we uh, we made a stage. We put lighting. We did everything. It's I mean, whole we vibe. have sound. Like we own sound. We have everything. So we just set it yeah, up. Brought food or mama cito cook. We have frito con cito en Shout out frito yeah. con cito. That shit is lit. Hold on, this shit look fire. Put that on the camera. Put that on the camera. Hold on, what? Yeah. Uh, we got <laughs> we got craft beers by Interboro. Oh, nice. uh, we have oh, yeah, my boys, a whole bunch, a whole bunch of it's just it's just lit, it's just lit, and it is we, lit. We play bands, we play our music, and uh, we sell tickets on Eventbrite. The first one was like words of mouth. Then we was like, let's do this shit. It was legit. right after the uh, yo, like right after quarantine. The next one, the the first next one. one is August fifteenth, and it's gonna be the last one. We in there. My birthday's the twentieth, so what? Oh, what yeah. Yeah. I don't get an invite. I'm, I'm, is the I'm vibe pulling up? What week? What week is that? That's a Sunday. A Sunday. We uh, out, we out, we out. Mira, eh, eh, hopefully I can make <laughs> it. It's tempra- it temprano. I, I, I need to get a cake. Te da tiempo. Te da tiempo. Okay, alright. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's Sunday from so. five to eleven. But the well, set, hopefully that, I just got a night because you know Sundays yeah. we be doubling up out here like. But it's like you get a, you hey, got you, you catch a set and then you yeah. make it over you there. Definitely yeah. catch right at least now. one right. set. You definitely catch. I hope so, man. I'm be dying, man. Be we dying in there. Bro. And it's the it's the last it's the last one of the summer because uh, I'm I'm doing a, a taco spot, so I'm gonna be remodeling the store. Oh, tacos! Hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Love it. I got a question. Damn it. Am I performing with you finally? Two practices got canceled, bro. What's going on, man? I think you just have the omen, bro. Damn, man. I guess it must be, man. I'm not good enough. Nah, but honestly, bro, like. <laughs> Yo, it, it, I think, it, it, I think it's because he's from You're putting a Badoo for me? I wasn't joking on your brown boots, bro. Brito's <laughs> <laughs> definitely used, used to getting cut. Yeah, 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 baby. <laughs> Nah, nah, but Signing for sure, 10 days for, sure. for the rest of his life. Yeah. <laughs> I highly recommend pulling up to the Bodega Yo. Jams, guys. Yo, it's fun. Highly it's fun. Highly and every, every time so people's fun. there, we have fun. It's a vibe. Everyone is vibing to the music. Cool. No one cares about nothing else is it, but is, enjoying are, the music. Are your, are your shows 420 uh, friendly or no? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And we encourage, uh, yeah. we encourage people. Yo no, yo no hago eso. Yo soy un hombre serio. No, tú sabes. Pero que eso no significa que tú eres un hombre serio. You were asking for friends? Eso va en el legal. Yo lo digo. Tú sabes cómo dicen los viejetes. Tú eres serio, tú no vas a ser. Qué viejete, voy a tener los viejetes. Es 2021. Okay, that's good. So everybody, everybody definitely be there. Speaking, speaking on viejetes and shit like that. Here we go. ¿Qué tú, qué tú, qué tú opinas o cuál es tu pensamiento de la gente que puede ver el grupo afro dominicano y dicen, eso no es típico. Eso es porque esos muchachos no son los típicos. ¿Qué tú le dices a la gente? O sea, ¿cómo tú, ¿cómo tú le vendes? ¿Cómo tú le vendes la imagen tuya a esa gente que, que tienen esa, esa vaina como encerrada en la mente? That's a great, that's a great question. Pregunta. Hey, 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 Gets the mind going. So like whenever we <laughs> perform, we tell we tell the public that our music is to be heard and not to be understood. Oh, so that's, the same, oh that's the same thing. Can you repeat that? that? Can you repeat it again? Say it again. Yo, hold on, yo. Yeah, let him repeat. Power. Let the man repeat. That, Say it again. Uh, our music is meant to be heard, not to be understood. Oh, wow. I knew I fell in love. Palo, <laughs> I knew it. Para la gente que tiene cucaracha en en el cerebro. Tiene cucaracha, cucaracha en el cerebro, viejo. Yeah. <laughs> en so, español, en español se uh, dice te entiendo, pero no te comprendo. Exacto. <laughs> eso, 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 eso es lo que quiere decir. No va, no va a notar ese oído. Okay. Me gustó. Hey, la música. Hey, es ah, pues no fue de ahí que tú lo sacaste. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just translated it because I heard it. Yo dándole el crédito, eh, pero sí, que la, dale tú. Holy shit. So. So, so our music is for everyone to just listen to and enjoy. And if like if you come into our like any of our uh, performances with a, a bias, like we accept you. It's fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. But like the mentality when we went inside, it's like, yo, all we need is a it's a 400. So out of, if four people out of ten people fuck with our stuff. Then we we batting up 400 and in the MLB that's amazing. Oh, you know I what I'm love saying? that. So it's that's like great, actually. You, you know what's crazy though? Uh, before you say anything, is that you've gotten a great acceptance from a lot of people. Because a lot of people, as soon as they hear something different, they're like, eh. yeah, this is not for the musically challenged. And baby. and what's crazy is a lot of typical fans 
fuck with your music. Yeah. You know what I'm Facts. Saying? We get a it. A lot of people. A lot of people. And yes. I've seen people that son, son gente que cuando they go to a typical part, they want talk about merengue de fiesta and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And they really vibe with your music, it's which, so is, fresh, which is great. Dude, it's fresh. That's my point. Can you describe to them the type of the crowd go, that goes to Afro Dominicano event? I don't call it a party. Mm-hmm. I call it an event. It's an event. It's a concert, right. basically. Yes, you're right on that. Part. So, so it's funny yeah. because, like, like, Intent. like you were saying, so like we have the viejetes in there. We have people who like have never heard of merengue típico or Dominican music at all. Then we have like the rock heads, the metal heads. We got the punk rockers. We got the hip hoppers. We have the reggae vibers. We have everyone there because this is an open space for everyone to just feel love. That that actually, my bad, Papito, but that actually sparks like another question because I actually watch. I saw a video that y'all recently um posted, and it was you guys were like it was an outdoor setting, whatever, and you know the the ca- the the guy on the camera was recording you guys, but then. There was a dude like on the floor and he was like American. He was a white American and he was just like, he looked like he's like a, one of these people, he's a rock fanatic type shit like that. So I always wanted to, yo, what? That, that what actually are, was a homeless man that was in the park. Nah, get oh, the fuck out of here. And he was like, yo, oh, I fuck with guys. this shit. And I'm like just shredding and he's just like, yo, Let's I, go. this is my music. And I'm so like, like I, that's my question, I, I guess would be what, what kind of reactions have you guys gotten from I like, might be homeless, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, 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 no, no, he, he is home, he was he is homeless. I think you're talking about the Central Park performance. I think so. Yes. Yo, this motherfucker has think. like 13k followers on IG. Say he's like what? an artist. He's like an artist, and he's like, yo, wow. obviously he has have like bumps along the lines, uh-huh. but when he was fe- like he was feeling one with Frankie when he was when Frankie was shredding like like I know Frankie spoke to him as well, and I'm like, yo, like it was crazy because like he felt like. Even though he had no idea who we were, he still felt at home. Nice. That's beautiful, that's, man. That's, that's, that's so that's people thing. that's people that connect with your it's music. That's what music is all about. That's what it was about. That's what it was about. That's what it was about. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean what it was about? So what it, I mean? it was about connecting. Now it's just about, like, I feel like slowly, like certain generations is not taking that to consideration. Like, yo, when the, our music hit different for the purpose that we make it for that. Right. Mm. And like we want, and like one of like, my biggest inspirations like in music is Bob Marley and it's like our music is about expressing love like knock on wood like to this day like we have done over 200 300 shows and like we've never experienced a fight we never experienced none of those shit that like Word. happens in other locations it's because like uh-huh, the, and I'm talking about our par- <laughs> our, our parties are BYOB so like if you bring your yep. body you get fucked up yep. pero es que, es que la, la, look at, like that attraction that we like that Everyone the, goes what to we give it now, yeah, that energy we give it now, esto no es para esto, esto es para algo diferente. Para el amor de la and música. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Didn't you have dreads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cut it off for a Mochalo. promise. <laughs> for a promise? Yeah, it's it's coming back though. Don't okay. worry. But um, I get the a lot of compliments with this. We gotta, we gotta no, know what the good. promise is. I like, is. I like the curl. We gotta know what the promise is. No, 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 no se puede decir. No, no se puede decir. No. 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 All right, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. No, you yeah. can't, you can't, you can't say it. No, 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 you can't say it. Se cumplió, se cumplió, se cumplió. Okay. Ah, pues se puede decir ya. No diga que papá se pone brava. Ay, va a ser. No sé qué fue por papá. No diga que fue ella. So se cumplió. The the promise was that like. A lot of people like was experiencing obviously like during this pandemic really fucked up stuff and it's like every, I have I have grown my dreads three times in my life and every time I cut my dreads for a purpose it comes to fruition and it's like it's superstition it you know like I come from like a, a baseball background so like sorry, dirty socks and like no la vais la copa you know all this stuff mm-hmm. but. So, yeah, te, te explico Those después, are... te explico después, te explico okay. después que estamos en el show. No, no, un grajo no, 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 un bajo a bolsa okay. porque es la okay. copa, tú me entiendes. Por eso okay. te dije que era después. Dale. <laughs> so, so la, la, la promesa was like, I'm going to cut my dreads. And like, it's funny because I, I did it like kind of like subconscious, unconsciously and it, like the world for us as far as like a, a band and music it opened up for us so i cut my dress so the world will open up again and we will get the chance to perform you're again. bringing us the vibes back hey, yeah 
Nice. 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 Juegatela, juegatela aquí. No, Pitufo, they're not kicking out the guirero. They're not bringing you into the game. It's not going to be Pitufo. It's not going to be Pitufo otra vaina en otro dominicano. It's not going to be that shit, bro. Bro, 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 bro. ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuándo me puedo? Oye, montame. <risa> Rafi está bien ahí. Rafi está bien ahí. Mira, man, you've been... You say boys for a good amount of years. Y I salute y te agradezco como músico lo que estás haciendo and nothing but you know success best of luck to all of you guys as a band and everything and hoping that the future brings a lot of beautiful things for you guys nice but a question Dímelo. from what I see or maybe others can also see obviously yeah. you're in the front so we view you as a leader mm-hmm. some of being in that same seat to a certain extent que es más jodón del grupo el ah. más jodón del grupo diablo I'm gonna let Frankie ask him that Frankie I'm gonna let him Frank is out. I don't know who. Ah, yes. Hey, está sudando. Ay. Dime, Jose. Is How the really? fuck do you know? Is All right. How do you know? Jose, no more. I played with Jose for years, bro. No, no way. he means well, though, bro. No, no way. I love he Jose. Means, Papito, la like, pregunta era para nada. He's a musical, like, Pero, perfectionist. That's I guessed it. He means well. You said it. I guessed it right. I, I, give, us, give, us, give us an explanation. The second, so, thank you. The second part of the question is why. So I won't say I won't I won't necessarily say that he's the more hold on, but uh, he comes from like a background of like being a perfectionist. So like he likes Which is not a bad yeah, thing. It's not a bad thing. But is to a certain extent like we are a very raw band so sometimes right. like that can interfere with our mission and our point but sometimes i feel like that criticalness brings more out of you it's mm. like you know if you have somebody on your ass like yo you're doing this you, need, you, you, do, you gotta do like this you can feel you know overwhelmed to a certain extent but at the That's same time you brings, have to be open to it <laughs> yeah exactly it brings the you know sometimes it brings the best in you absolutely yeah. i can speak uh, if i speak of uh, like on myself like i'm i need to be motivated yeah like i'm the type of person that i could be like fuck and then if somebody's like yo i'm like all right we out let's go but that's self-motivation type shit i could understand jose being like i could understand that i could really it just shows dedication though yeah yeah. i just i get the point of the band and your vibe and how you know there's raw emotions coming out as you're performing these songs that you like handwriting and doing everything so i get it you know I guess it couldn't add to. I guess it, you could, you could take the perfectionist in him and use it like sazón. You claro, know, like, I, not, like, o lo hacemos no, bien no o no lo hacemos. You know, just yeah. like salt bay that shit. Yeah, you know, like, just perfection the part that you need to. That's Absolutely. it. Pase la vaina bien, pero. But we definitely are doing the right things regardless, bro. Yeah, we great. we definitely gotta give it up to your to your drum guy. I seen that dude yes. play the drum. What's his name again? What's his name? What's the drummer's name? Marco Mento. Hey, that guy's Marco nasty. What? Man, listen, I, I've, I've been I've been to your shows and I see him like just. Hey, se aprendió el contratiempo del yo. Hey, yo, se aprendió yo, el contratiempo. Yes. Se aprendió. So, so let me tell you, that was one of the things that like Jose was like, yo, you gotta get that right. And and, and that was the thing. So that, how did that take a long that? time? That took, yo, that? that took a while. You know what I'm saying? That took a while. But yeah, like, I salute look, him. Look over at now. He can do it now. You yeah, see? no, so he got that's, it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, you I, need so someone like that to be like, yo. Yeah. Because as us Dominicans, as us, us Dominicans, if it would have been me, I would say, sorry, uh, Rafi, book a un un coso. Un you, you just put it there uh, and uh, have him. Yeah, and do yourself. Fill in, have him fill in. Exactly. But he got it though. That's not what we do at Afro Dominicano though. Yeah, that's the whole flow. That's fire because like the drums is like the the heartbeat of your band. And it's representing all sides at the same but time. But I, I don't think people understand. Like, when you see this this dude just... This Italian dude. This yeah. white man. Okay. Like, literally, like, you, you go to their parties and you you be like, so playing good. Dominican music. And he loves it. You see the passion. And what's crazy, he's it. on beat. It's no, es tigre no se cruza, no, not on so beat. Yo, hasta, so good. hasta the rumba hace el tigre loco. So Bro, he does the rumba on the side of the time. He does the rumba on the side of the time. 
That's crazy, bro. Room, bro. We gotta go. We got yo. The vibe gotta go to an Afro Dominicano show, man. Yo, I'm with it, man. We're 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 just, all together, we need a table. Just Hopefully, man. Well, they got we're vibes. August fifteenth. Uh, they got vibes. 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 They enough for Papito to get in. <laughs> Yo, wait, oh, Papito's not even that big. No, I'm, thank you, exactly. You, you know damn well. Hold on, hold on. Did you see him a year ago? <laughs> no, two years ago, two years ago. Two years ago. <laughs> hey, Papito está sexy. Cool. No, oh, yo, yeah, la vaina es. Oh, yeah, la vaina es. That, that event you're going to have, you got to have AC because Sula's going to melt. That's his problem. Oh, you're going to have, yeah, yo, no. he's stroking serious, brother. I'm just saying. No, no, seriously, bro. I got the sponge to dry them up. I'm, yeah, not. Nah, we don't have enough sponges. I'm, oh yeah, that ass, that's my birthday weekend, bro. I'm in there. No, we, we definitely in there. Yeah, we're performing. I'm going. Oh no, yo no sé de ustedes, pero yo voy. Eh, va montado como no va. No, but we come in. Uh, lamentablemente, we almost come into the end of the line here. So before we get this next segment, also the guys can participate. Mm -hmm. Oh yup. Because this segment is gonna be fire. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. just shoot real quick your personal socials and then the band socials, yes, so sir. everybody listening and seeing could uh. Follow so you my guys. social security mm -hmm. is. Uh, no, no. Hey, 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 I just want to say thank you guys for having us here. Um, thank you guys. I feel everyone here. Thank I didn't coming. know everyone here, but I have a lot of personal friends here, and this is a lot of love. Yes, and sir. it was definitely super fun to do. Um, <laughs> so they call me, they call, on IG, you can find me in Spanish accent. The band is Afro Dominicano, and next to me is Frankie Pain of the Lord. You can I find me know. at Frankie.Pain, P A Y N E. We'll definitely put IG. up there. We're, we're put up there. Yeah, we're going to put that on the socials, but yeah. I want them to, yes. to say it. Oh, yeah, thank you so and much. then you guys are on, awesome. uh, uh, on all, all so, platforms, all platforms, yeah, all like platforms Spotify, only fans, iTunes. YouTube, whatever. Only fans, too. Only fans, excuse me. We do have only fans. Flow, eh, vamos a activarnos con los vibes en Only fans. Y tenemos cuatro cámaras ahora con chiquitos y que vamos a grabar un casting couch. Hey, 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 hey. Música, música. Wait, listen. You know, instructional videos. I gotta play this one. That's a wrap, everybody. Follow us on the Vibe PC on IG. We are now streaming on all digital platforms. We are the Vibe. Chapaca.